When I was a kid going to school up the street, IBM was king. There was 10 to 15,000 people in the Endicott area every day just to work at IBM. The Avenue was a bustling place. It had department stores, restaurants, all kinds of businesses up and down the Avenue. IBM pulled out and the community basically disappeared. The businesses, the department stores are gone. It felt like there's a skeleton down here. It felt like, you know, there's a big part of Endicott that, that's missing. They, they still have their parades down here, but what are you parading in front of? So many communities are failing. So many small towns are disappearing. It's good to be part of a rejuvenation to try to bring, you know, pride back into an area. I would love to be part of a revitalization project of Endicott. I would love to be, to help, to put Endicott back to what it once was. But my father, he started homebrewing back in the mid 90s and he was homebrewing with a neighbor of his across the street. I was really young at the time. I probably was like seven or eight. When he was involved, there was like very little uh, craft beer. There wasn't anything in the craft beer scene on this, on, this side of the United States. And then it took me around 2008 to ask him to teach me how to homebrew. So I spent one day with him uh, and he taught me how to homebrew and then I was hooked. That was it. It was a game changer. When this became a reality, I uh, didn't realize you can actually do this for a living, like make beer. And at that time I realized, I was like, I'm gonna do this for the rest of my life. So three years later, after we opened the brewery, I'm, I'm living my dream right now. You know, if, if he needs somebody to scream at, yell at, I'm there for him. If he needs somebody to help him out, I'm there for him. I believe in my son. My, my son is a driving force at this place. And he has such a passion for it that um, when you see that drive in his eyes and what he's gonna do to produce more, to produce more, to make more, to live out his dream, uh, I, I can't deny that. You know, back in the 90s, there wasn't a lot of craft type beer around. They either drank, you know, Budweiser, Miller, Genesee. I uh, didn't think about going into the craft beer industry myself until uh, my son came home one night. Um, he had visited a brewery and said, this is what I want to do the rest of my life. When he came home that day, at first I thought, you know, you know he's just saying this now, but then he, he didn't let it die. When, when given a challenge, Zach finds a way to solve that challenge. I really love the creativity with beer. Like you can do anything with it, and it's, it's tough to master. I just, I love the art form that's involved with beer from the process. I actually look at uh, making beer to painting, because I, when I was in school doing graphic design, I was also uh, painting. And uh, when you lay a stroke down, especially with oil paints, you don't really know how it's gonna look until it finally dries two weeks later. It's very similar to beer. So it's, it's really cool to be creative here because a lot of our beers, uh, you can definitely see where our creativeness shines through when you try our beers and you taste our beers. Is it a struggle? Yes, 100%. Is it, is it less stressful than when I worked at Walmart? Uh, no, not at all. Uh, it's, it's 100 times more stressful because this is my source of, you know, this is the source of income and now I have other people that it's their source of income as well. My father, if I were to pick something about my father, he's a, he's a very supportive guy. He, he is 100% behind the brewery, no question. Very supportive. Originally, when, he, when, it was, when we first opened, it was just him and me before uh, we had other people come on. He was brewing with me. At least once a month, he was down here brewing with me. He still has a full-time job, but his role now is definitely more behind the scenes in uh, finances but I want this to be a family business. Uh, my father will never leave the company. I will never leave the company. We'll, we're in it till the end. This is Zach's life. Most people in their careers, you, you don't like where you're going, you can stop and go somewhere else. Zach, there is nowhere else. Right now, this is it. You know, this is what Zach wants to do. This is what he, he's gonna do. And unfortunately, that's my dad when uh, 
I was quite young, but it's something that uh, was instilled in me. Family helps family.